Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews. As always, I'm the bearded beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And we've got some really exciting stuff to show you on this episode, so why don't we take it Laneside and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, welcome back. As always, we're joined by Wayne Porter, our speed dominant player. Yeah, he's bowling on the easy house shot. And we are looking at the third ball in the knockout line here, the bruiser. Bruiser. Now, unusually, with all of the new um, HK22 cover stocks coming out, yes. this is not an HK ball. No, they went with the Savvy Hook 4.0 solid cover stock. So instead of HK, Kay. we got... An SH. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Letters work. <laughs> letters. Letters, letters, letters. Um, <laughs> so when we got the first one, it was... It's got that jab core in it. Yeah. It was strong, but it wasn't like strong, strong. Strong, yeah. It, it hooked. It goes down and does its thing. It does, yep. I yeah. mean, it was strong, but yeah. well, I mean, we got it during the pandemic. Yeah. I threw it on some string lanes. I think... Um, I think I left a head pin in a pocket shot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it was just a weird time, but we didn't get yeah. to throw it a lot on oil. Yeah. Here we have Wayne throwing it. He struck with it? Yeah. What up with that? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think you might actually kind of like the motion on this one because. Holy moly. He struck again. Struck again. Um, so uh, let's talk about a little bit about this ball. Um, same core we said. New As the other knockouts, yeah, the melee low RG core. That's yeah. right. New cover stock. Yeah. A lot of surface on it. Yes. I kind of like that. I think that was kind of blended out a lot better. I think it just got it to pick up, like, overall hook more, I felt like, from from the get-go. It wasn't as Bro strong. Brooklyn! <laughs> yeah, like you said, it might have not... Like the other ones are strong, but this one seems to be overall stronger. Like, yeah. Um, now we've talked about this tons before. When it comes to our speed dominant players, yeah. Um, symmetric balls usually aren't really our thing. Yeah. Or their thing. Their thing. Yeah. Um, but he has made this look pretty good. Yeah. It's got a lot. I mean, not that br <laughs> that dynamic core yeah, carry yeah. on the last yeah, shot, so. but he seemed to have had a fair amount of motion with it. Yeah. You can see. So it does go Ooh. down pretty good. So it's not like it's hooking. Like when I said overall hook, I didn't mean like, you know, it's hooking at your feet. Yeah. Like it's still getting down the lane. So. And I think that might have been the problem with the original, the OG. Um, yeah. It is so early, it was very smooth. Yeah. And I think we'll talk about a little bit yeah. more about it later. Yeah. Um, this has a surprising amount of hook off the spot. Yeah. Where our symmetricals are usually a little rounder. Yeah. It's getting closer to like an asymmetric shape. But oh, black but 10 strike like dynamic core. <laughs> yeah, see that held really long in the oil, right? Which is kind of nice. Gives you a very large pocket. So yeah, this savvy hook 4.0 um, surprisingly, surprisingly strong. Yeah, Look at that. that. Nice. Yeah. yeah. He Even on impressed. His, he never looks <laughs> impressed. Even for our speed dominant yeah. player here. Now here we have him with the bonus. And uh well we know how this ball is. Every line has one like it. You can go. With those kind of core dynamics, those kind of cover dynamics. It's that ball you can always throw. Yeah. It's a good solid benchmark ball and know where you're going from, from there. Absolutely. Now for Wayne here, because he's Speed dominant. We call him speed dominant because he is rev challenged. This almost kind of fits into a benchmark yeah. spot. Um, it has a little more motion, which is what our speed dominant players need to get yeah. the ball through the pocket. But check this out here. All three of them. And you can see. Wow. For him, the knockout was right in between the the black, blue, and the black, yeah. and had much more snap on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, because it wasn't very as, unusual. Yeah. Like you said, it wasn't as early rolling as the original black. Yep, and it it kind of settled in a little bit nicer and a little bit sharper off the spot than the other one. Now here you are with it. Yeah, 
Ooh. I mean, I got a strike. It wasn't pretty. But it's right. been a while since we've seen you yeah. strike on the first one. Runch mark, yeah. So we know it's good. So, yeah. And that's the thing is it's, it has that shape. Like we talked about it being a little bit straighter, a little bit closer to a benchmarky type of motion. Mm-hmm. Right? So playing off my benchmark line, it kind of makes sense. So we got to move you off of that because uh, even though <laughs> it's kind of benchmarky, I mean, that was that was a little high. It was still a 4.9. It was, you know. So we got to move you three and two off of that. Well, it doesn't look too bad. That's better. Oh. Ooh, flat ten. That's that's a one and one right. Yeah. And you carry that all day. That's yeah. a really nice spot yeah. for that. It had a really nice like you, you got, I got an inside ten a little bit more and mm-hmm. it kind of bellied it out and that's the kind of the motion I really like and it seems I find it seems really worked the best on this shot for me. So now we've seen this core a lot. Um, we saw it through the jab line. Yeah. Some of the jabs have been better than others. Yeah. But with solid balls with this core, we've seen the knockout, the black blue, this. Yeah. And the jab or the melee hook. Yes. Yeah. I think that's about it. Yeah. And this, I mean, watching this motion, this reminds me a lot of the hook. Yeah. And I, we both love that. Yeah. Ball. And it was it was very popular for everybody. I think uh, Jacob ended up having like three or four of them drilled up like different ways. <laughs> Mr. Popperheimer. Look at this. Yeah, there we go. That was another three oh. and two move. Yeah. And you have yet to get around the ball. Yeah. That's just rolling it forward. Yeah. Yeah. Just getting it off my hand. Forward roll. So we're looking probably mm, three to four boards. Zero to four boards, just rolling it forward. Yeah. And then we're just going to have you, well, once this resets, just have mm. you get around a little bit more yeah. and create some more angularity. That's Hard right. Hard off the spot and. And we've had a few people this week, actually, I got messages from people um, wondering when we were going to be back because when they listen to us and they listen to us talk about generating, you know, more side roll, more forward roll, you know, this is what it does when it does that, this, yeah. um, they really enjoy that and they've learned from it. So I appreciate everyone who sends us in messages yeah. all the time. And this is why we do this. I mean, yeah. we could sit there and s- camp in one spot and throw strike after strike yeah. after strike. But. You can't always be in your A game spot. No. Sometimes you got to move around. Yeah, exactly. And it kind of shows you where the ball's limits are and where you can get away with playing, right? Now here you're getting a little more around it. Now you can see oh, it way different shape. Way snap different that shape, ten right? out. Yeah, that was a beauty. So just getting it to to clear the heads a little bit further down and mm-hmm. then s- more off the spot, right? The more you can push your track down on the ball, the further it's going to go and the more angular it's going to become, right? Yeah. So. so now you're going to move even farther. Yeah. And try to get around it some more. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> all right. All right. You're a matched player. So. Let's see what happens here. I'm now not th- guaranteeing you're going to strike. I just said I can do it. I just. <laughs> well, see, this is yeah. where most people start to, to um, they're not sure what to do because there will come a point where you get so far inside that your symmetrical ball is too late getting around the corner, but your asymmetric is too strong. Yeah. And I think that's what happened right there. Yeah. Yeah. It just, you got it it into the oil. Yeah. It just doesn't want to, it's going to start the further left you go, the sooner your break point comes towards you, closer it comes. You have to bring it towards you. Yeah. Yeah. It physically impossible not to just the length of the ball. Right. So that's uh, you're gonna get it in the oil and just never bite the friction. That's right. right. Yeah. When when you get deeper into that oil, you have to get the ball to roll roll faster, or yeah. you have to be able to get it to react faster down lane. Yeah. And it's way harder to get it to react faster down lane. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And that's what I mean. You're playing in the the thickest part and the longest part of the oil now. And yep. It's just hard to get it to boop. And when it does, it's using up what energy it has left and kind of rolling. Line like that one, just kind of straight back. What are you doing off here? Like I don't know. Oh, uh, you know what it is? It, you got knocked out. We yeah. have to wait for you to come back up. See, there he comes. I, I was, I was gonna <laughs> oh, pew, 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 there pew. was something going on. I think people were bothering me. I don't know. That that does happen. Sometimes yeah. we're in the center, and just like anybody else, when we're bowling, people come ask us questions. Yeah. Yeah, there was a few times. There we go. I looked nice. 
Oh, oh. once again, you're maybe a one and one yeah. or like a half step up. Yeah. Just to get it to shape a little bit more. That looked really good. Yeah. And here's Pooks, our resident super left hander. I see that. That's a nice shot. Oh, that looked great. Yeah. Yeah. That's gorgeous shape. Yeah. And that's the thing is, like, that one you can see it came around again. It's like, if I can play a certain area and then move it a little bit further and then come around it, I can stay in the same ball a little bit longer. Like, and that's potential of this ball, right? Absolutely. Now, here we are with the bonus. Oh, look at it. The pins just jump off the deck yeah. for you. And we're going to put it up against now with our speed dominant player. It was pretty close. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be that close no, this time. Yeah, it's a little different now. You can see inside and out. Yeah. The distance is pretty close, but you're getting anywhere. I, I Honestly, I could say zero to maybe six, seven yeah. boards. And once again, here we are showing off all three. And you can just see the difference wow. in the shapes. Yeah. The knockout was the one in the middle. The knockout bruiser was the one in the middle, and you could see it shaped yeah. way more. Yeah. Like, it was a lot harder, a little sooner, a little harder off the spot. Yep. Where the the first black knockout, it just, just kept going. Kept going, yeah. Now, here I am. Um, I am slightly biased to this ball. <laughs> um, first of all, absolutely. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Um, I absolutely adored the melee hook. Yes. I took a melee hook with a motion hole to multiple PBA events. Yes. Um, have not been able to find that shape since because that cover, when it lane shined, it created a little bit more motion down lane that you couldn't get at anything else. Yeah. Now I can get it out of this knockout, and yeah. I don't have to wait for it to lane shine. Exactly. Which yeah. is nice. Yeah, and you can get it back there and be more accurate with, you know. Absolutely. Okay. Now, even though this is going to be kind of interesting, um, you're not going to see me throw a lot of strikes with this one. Uh, same thing as what we did with everybody else. Keep moving left, try to get yeah. around it, play forward and, and, and such. However, um, I know exactly when I would need this ball. Yes. Um, yeah. Very first time having this ball drilled it up, uh, down playing, and everyone was uh, forced right. The lanes were a little yeah. bit wetter this past week. Yeah. Um, and nothing was starting up properly. Grabbed my knockout bruiser here. Yeah. Um, moved right five boards and started just trying to roll it uh, 15 5. Yeah. I was. 491 or 502 for my first two games with yeah, this ball. Yeah, you bowled it real well with it when you got into it. And, um, and basically, you know, I'd gone to my benchmark ball and I'd thrown it and I ne just needed something that was going to be a little bit earlier. But when I went to my asymmetrics, it was too quick off the spot yeah. and too, just too unpredictable. Yeah. And this fit in there. I think we saw that with, with Wayne too when you look at it versus his ben well the benchmark Bar we yeah. gave him it was just that little bit earlier and just that little bit more right. shape yeah it's closer to an angular motion compared to the benchmark that's right yeah right not but actually yeah. angular yeah. but not, more yeah. angular more angular right so but that's what the good thing about this it just seems to be oh, oh very clean um and overall strong very like, reactive yeah. down yeah. lane yeah yeah um, and most of these shots, you know, you're seeing me, you know, s blower 10 pin here. I'm a little bit of speed or a one in one move to yeah. carry these out. Yeah. I really liked what I saw with this in league, in tournament play where I knew, all right, I need this. I like my benchmark, but I need more of it, but I don't need it to roll up my feet. Yeah. And we're going to see it right yeah. against the, my, my benchmark here, the bonus. Yeah. Uh, I was just so impressed with it. Look at that. Oh, look yeah. at the sock game going on, too. <laughs> so we're going to put it up right against it here. And I think you'll see the, the big difference here is shape. Yeah. Um, us and you, we saw it when we put them all three of them together. 
It's just the sh extra shape. Look, yeah. I'm almost on top of myself yeah. there. But it's just the extra shape that the knockout gave me that I couldn't get out of my benchmark. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 not the like take off, hook off. Yep. You know, like oh my god, this is super high end. Like uh, look at the difference. Yeah, the old, the big difference, you could see it got wow. a little bit outside and really yeah, shaped like more yeah. through it. So I think finally we have a hands down replacement for the melee hook for sure and it is a knockout thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show so until next time guys we'll see you lane side